Okay, we are going to make uh, foldable for our levels of organization. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to take a regular sheet of paper and we're going to measure out some different things for lines. So our first line is going to be at half an inch. So I'm going to mark half an inch on both sides. And then draw my line. Then I'm going to go from the top again, an inch and three-fourths. Make sure all of your measurements, you go from the top of the page. Don't start at the next line. Go from the top of the page. Then I'm going to do three and a half inches. Then we're going to do five and three quarter. And then we're going to measure down eight. Now you'll notice that all of the sections of this foldable get bigger as they go down and that's the same way our levels of organization we start at the top real small with the cell and work down to the bottom with the organism All right. so once we have our lines drawn we're gonna do a hot dog fold right down the middle so we're just gonna fold it in half get it lined up And then we're going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut just part of the paper to make flaps. So I got my scissors. I'm going to take the left side of the page and I'm going to cut right on my lines, but only to our fold. We're not going to cut all the way across only cut to the fold for all of the lines so we have flaps and not strips of paper okay so I've got all my flaps Cut. So now I'm going to fold them all over. Okay, so my crease, my fold is on the left. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to label them. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to label all of the flaps. So the first one I'm just going to write. organization of living things. My second one, right real big in there, cells, and then tissues. organs organ system and organisms okay now that I have that done we can open these up and now if I open up cells I'm going to draw a picture of a cell right inside the flap. Okay. So 
So I'm going to draw my cell. It's got a nucleus in it and the other little things moving around. Okay, and later on I'm going to come back and I'm going to color this. But then I'm also going to write right inside of here cell, and then I'm going to put our definition. Okay, that it's the basic unit of all living things. Okay. Now there are different kinds of cells. There could be plant cells. There could be animal cells. There could be blood cells. There are many, many different kinds of cells. I'm just going to label a couple of them. Okay. Now the next one is tissues. So I'm going to open up the tissues. Okay. And remember that tissue is a bunch of cells working together. All right. So I might draw some muscle tissue. Muscle tissue is kind of the long stringy kind of tissue. Okay. And again, I'll come back and color these. Okay, or you have the nervous tissue, where your nerves, where you have all the little, kind of like little wires crossing to take different things to, from your brain to different parts of your body so you can feel all the different things. So there's my nervous system. So I'm going to label those. Here's my muscle tissue. Here's my nervous tissue. And then I'm going to write tissue up here with the definition. And it's a group of similar cells. that work together to perform a specific function. Okay. have the muscle tissue, we have nervous tissue, and we have skin tissue. Okay, so those are some examples down there as well. The next flap is organs. Okay, there's lots of different organs. You've got lungs, okay, kind of like that. So I'm going to label that one. You've also got bones. also got your stomach. Okay. Just a couple of the organs there. Now, here for the organ, our definition for, or definition for organ is a structure in the body
that is composed or made of different kinds of tissue. some of the examples there. You also have the liver, you have kidneys, okay, there are other organs. Go down to organ systems and for our organ system, okay, that's where we get all the organs working together that do the same thing. So I'm going to kind of draw the digestive system here. Gotta get the intestines in here, wrapping around. Okay, so I'm gonna label this digestive system. And there are other, there's a respiratory system with your lungs, so maybe we have the lungs back again. So then we have our respiratory. respiratory. system. Okay. So then here we're going to write our definition for organ system. Organ system is a group of organs work together to perform a major function in the body. Okay. And then the last one is our organism. Now organisms are living things. So we've got plants, we've got animals. Okay, so here we could have trees or flowers. Maybe even a couple of mushrooms growing in there. They tend to grow together. Okay. Animals. People, of course. We are organisms. Okay. Be a cat. Or possibly your dog. Okay. And our definition for organism. It's any living thing that is capable of growing and reproducing.
could just be a single celled organism. Or it could be the multi-celled organisms, which would be our pictures over here. Okay, so then I would come back, I'm going to come back and I'm going to color this and make it look nice and neat and pretty. Ooh. 